For us, to start with, we've taken a very, very strong focus on uh, CO2 emissions. So we've been measuring our average CO2 emission uh, per unit mile, uh, reference from 2008 up to today's situation. So for us, we've, we've had a significant improvement in uh, reducing CO2 impact. The core belief of our Lean Green environmental strategy is that what is sustainable and what's economical can and must be the same thing. We're working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions across four different areas. First, we're willing to take the initiative. When we have a technology or a solution which we think can uh, make a good contribution, we're going to try it. We also believe in partnering. We know that as one company, we don't have a good possibility of finding the, the solution to all of the challenges that we face. So we will partner with uh, all manner of stakeholders to find lean green solutions. As a third area, we believe in engaging in the regulatory process and what we really work towards there are progressive but pragmatic outcomes. And then as a, as a fourth area, we want to attract innovators to our industry. We might have the original global industry, but it's also the original hidden industry. Vessel recycling is a really good thing because we are able to reuse over 90% of the vessel and the amount of energy that goes into recycling of steel is one third of what goes into new production of steel. So Valenius Willemsen has for a long time been doing responsible recycling but we are only so much of the entire industry so we also have to impact through having a voice and being transparent. And we have joined SRTI, the Ship Recycling Transparency Initiative, which is a platform to enable transparent reporting across the industry. The problem is that it's not done in a responsible manner. Mostly in South Asia, vessels are brought onto beaches they don't have proper equipment handling and they don't have safety equipment for the workers. So they work mostly under appalling conditions. They're exposed to toxics and the danger of injuries is very high. Why does this happen? Well, basically because of money. It is a lot more costly to do it in a responsible manner. And some ship owners, unfortunately, close their eyes. They sell the vessel to a third party buyer who will then be responsible for the recycling of the vessels. Digitalization is one of the mega trends that's going through the industry at the moment and what's really exciting about it is it's able to produce both operational efficiency benefits and environmental benefits. What digitalization is, allows us to do is to see and find hidden treasure in data because often we're dealing with factors that are affected by many, many different variables and trying to isolate trends without big data analysis techniques is extremely difficult. Even with today's technology, we create a lot of unnecessary waste. We rush ships across the ocean to get cargo to a destination, only to sadly watch that very cargo sit in stock for several months. 
That's crazy. All the industry that we work with from a logistics provisions point of view, we have to work with our clients to make sure that they can no longer break their supply chain up into these individual chunks and measure each individual chunk based on old metrics and old ways of thinking. That is not going to work for the future. It is not sensible for the environment. It's not responsible for industry. So we need to work and we want to work very closely with our customers to help them reduce the emissions in their supply chains. Not just the unit in operation, but actually before it even gets to operation. This year has been a game changer in terms of focus on sustainability and bringing it hand in hand with business and not being only a separate work stream to, to report on, but it's actually becoming part of many companies' strategies on how to improve their business and, and deliver according to customers' expectations. One billion out of the seven billion people on the planet that are earning more than $34 a day. We have a huge responsibility because we're occupying most of the world's resources to make sure that as the remaining six billion residents on this planet, as they move into a developed society, uh, that we're learning how to use the planet sensibly. So I think just from a pure planet protection point of view, it's an excellent starting point to understand why sustainability is important. And we highly recommend for everyone to join this movement and, and, and help us improve the world.